Hey, in today's bass lesson, I want to show you how to play reggae bass like an authentic pro. I'll see you inside. Hey, it's James here from eBass Guitar. So it might not come as a huge surprise to you guys that I don't have a massive background in the world of reggae bass or reggae music heritage, but we get a lot of questions here at eBass Guitar about how to play reggae bass. So I thought I'd get in my friend Don Chandler, who runs the YouTube channel Don Strumental or the Reggae Bass Hub. And what he did last week was give my members over at eBass Guitar in the Bass Lab Plus a live masterclass on how to play reggae bass authentically. And it absolutely blew my mind what he showed us. So today I wanna to show you and go into a little bit of depth about what I learned in that masterclass and how I'm applying it to my own bass playing. So the first thing I'd love you to do when you finished watching this video is make sure you jump over to Don's channel, Don Strumental or the Reggae Bass Hub and subscribe to it. There's some awesome content he's putting out there. The second thing I'd love you to do right now is in the comments below, please let me know who your favorite reggae bass player or reggae artist is. I'd love to find out. Also, everything we're covering today is written out in a completely free PDF in standard notation and tab. You can grab your free copy by clicking the link in the description below. So the number one thing that Don showed us, which was completely transformational from my perspective, was this concept of rhythms. And rhythms are repeated musical rhythmic patterns which make up the backbone of reggae bass lines. And the specific one he showed us was from a track called The Answer. And what will happen on a reggae gig is that he will literally call The Answer and every musician will know what pattern to play. So this is the bass line to The Answer. It sounds like this. can do is we can break that back a step further just purely to the rhythmic notes. So this got me thinking how do I apply this to my own bass playing because one of the things we do in my band Metropolis is we will often turn a verse or a chorus of a song into a reggae style or feel for that section. And we often do this with one particular track and that's the Stevie Wonder Superstition. So I thought to myself, how do we apply this concept of rhythms, particularly the answer to that Stevie Wonder tune? So Superstition is based on a funk groove, which sounds like this. This is all basically over an E minor or E minor seven chord. So what I've got here is a reggae groove based over simply an E minor chord. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the rhythm to the answer to it just using one note. And this is exactly where I started experimenting with this concept. This is what it sounds like. I then thought to myself, that sounds pretty cool and it works using that rhythmic pattern, da 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 ba da 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 But I thought to myself, how can we make this more interesting? So I went back to the original bass line to the answer, which is this. I thought, how can I take the shape and concept of that phrase but apply it to superstition? So this original answer bass line is in the major and it's over the major scale. So it's root, root, and then we go to the third, and then to the fourth, third, fourth, fifth. So it's using the first five notes of the major scale. And I thought, well, what if I take that exact same idea, but apply it to the first five notes of the E minor scale? So that it would be this. So an E, an F sharp, a G, an A, and a B like that. And I ended up with this bass line, which sounds like this. I thought that sounds fantastic. So let me play it with the backing track so you can hear how this concept works. So what 
Don was showing us in the Bass Lab Masterclass was how to take these rhythms and apply them over new chord sequences, which is exactly what I did there. And what I've realized is I've got a brand new bass line to Superstition, so whenever we turn it into a reggae feel, I've got a really great authentic sounding bass line which will work over it. So my next piece of thinking was how do we take this concept of rhythms and apply them to other songs and chord sequences that I play in my band Metropolis. So I started off with the legendary Benny King song, Stand By Me. I'm sure you know the bass line, which sounds like this. chord sequence of two bars of A, chord one, two chords of two bars of F sharp minor, which is chord six, a bar of D, which is chord four, a bar of E, which is chord five, and then two bars of A again to complete the eight bar sequence. So I then took the rhythm idea and applied it and tried to take elements and musical phrases of that original bass line. And this is the line that I came up with. directly taken from the A major scale. This is all written out in the free PDF which comes with this lesson. So make sure you download it using the link which is in the description below. So let's hear what this sounds like with the backing track so you can hear this in context. <laughs> original bass line. So let me just play the last two bars of the eight bar sequence, which is that's the original bass line, but here it, it is with the rhythm superimposed, we end up with this, or I created this rather. Particularly you can hear that which is taken from the original bass line. So I love fusing these elements of the reggae rhythmic concepts with the harmony or the original bass line of the track. So guys, if you're enjoying this video, I'd love you to like and subscribe to the E-Bass Guitar channel because we release a video designed especially for beginner to intermediate bass players every single week. So click that red button and the bell icon, which is somewhere around this video, and you'll be the first to know when a new video is released. So the last bass line I wanna show you today and show you how this concept of the answer rhythm can work across it is Don't Stop Believing, the legendary Journey song. We probably play this hundreds, possibly thousands of times in my band Metropolis. And I've always wondered, how can we apply a reggae feel to this? So I'm gonna show you what I've come up with. So this is the original bass line. So this is the version that I've come up with. So this chord sequence is a bar of E, a bar of B, a bar of C sharp minor, a bar of A, a bar of E, a bar of B, a bar of G sharp minor, and then a bar of A. So I want to show you just briefly how I've used elements of the original bass line in this and fused it with the rhythm. So this is the fourth, third and fourth bar of the original Journey bass line. 
Particularly, I want you to pay attention to those last two notes, which is the D sharp to the E there. So what I've done with the bass line, this reggae version, is we've have got this. And again, da da, da da, ba da da da. And then those last two notes are there. And then I've done the same thing again from the G sharp minor to the A as well. That's the original bass line here, but for bars seven and eight using the answer rhythm, we've got this. So make sure you download that free PDF so you can see exactly how these are played and also compare them to the original bass line. So this has been a real voyage of discovery and I've learned so much doing this. I'm super grateful to Don for what he showed us here and I can't wait to keep exploring this stuff. So to finish off the lesson, I'm gonna play Don't Stop Believing using the answer rhythm along the backing track so you can see, see and hear this idea in context. Guys, that's the end of today's reggae and bass guitar lesson. I love it if you could jump over to Don's channel, Don Strumental or the Reggae Bass Hub. We'll put a link in the description below. Make sure you subscribe and because he, he's doing some incredible stuff on there. Also, make sure you jump over to eBay's Guitar and check out Don's one hour long masterclass where I interview him and go deep into the subject of reggae bass over in the Bass Lab Plus. There's a link in the description below where you can join free with a 14 day trial. Cheers, I've been James from eBay'sGuitar.com. Catch you next week.